Hey, can I talk to you about something? Probably not. Countdown on its own lets you know, here we go! For one of the shortest intros in the series, it's probably one of the most addictive. The song is so catchy that you kind of forget the actual lyrics stop not even halfway through. It's true, the lyrics don't last long before repetition, and the title cards take most of the time. But when they are on our screen, you have the awesome music, ranger action, and zords to look at. The whole intro is perfectly paced, giving us great visuals, while still keeping in time with the music. Flashy as hell explosions versus stoic megabits. It balances itself out with characters and action with a really catchy beat and one of the better choruses. Let's skip all the way ahead. Right, because we were hanging around all the ancient days of ancient. That's some snazzy instrumentation to begin with. I must admit, this season of Power Rangers probably has the best character cards, simply for the fact that they show everything about each character in one screen. Ranger? Power? Civilian? Zord? That cannot all fit in one screen. Blasphemy! Calm down, Condor. But they did it! And it wasn't crowded and it was cut up with the faster pace showing of the Overdrive Arsenal. The rap itself is quick and catchy, and it summarizes that the team's goal is to get the gems and beat the inflated roster of baddies. I don't hate the rap. I actually commend it for carrying nearly all the way through the intro. For a season focused on a team of six, it does become apparent when the song constantly references five. Not to say it's a bad thing. The theme of five just exemplifies how the season is based around a conjoined team of heroes versus several factions of villains. Freaking fear cats! It isn't as loud or hectic in some places, but it carries itself well. Now this brings back memories. That first line didn't get you pumped, nothing well. This intro brings the thunder. The song is powerful and awesome, rockville and sick. Did you listen to that? This intro did everything right. Flashy as hell explosions, transformations and design. Check. Epic to awesome camera shots. Check. Quick transitions through the character cards. Check. Check. Visuals are solid across the board and good looking cards give way to more action and power range of goodness. Not only that, by giving the backup singers the repetitive lines, the main singer can focus on the actual lyrics. Every line is somewhat different, uh, making this the longest song in any of the intros, though most of the visuals are awesome moments and the uh, music here isn't synced up like most of the other intros. The most amazing thing about this intro has to be the song. Forget the fact that it's a crazy ballistic rock anthem, the lyrics are amazing and don't only cater to Dino Thunder, but to the entire Power Rangers series as a whole, and I love it. Now this is the epitome of awesome. SPD is awesome as a series, and its opening is just as good. 
It flashy clips, perfect synchronization, and one of the all-time catchiest intros in any TV show is not your thing, then I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place, my friend. You know what I said about Dino Thunder lyrics hailing to the rest of the series? Well, this one hails to all heroes ever. The visuals are incredible, with possibly the greatest scene in the season flying right past us. The character card with comic book-esque panels is one of my favorite things, and you see these panels for most of the opening. The music is heavenly, being one of the best sung and played with a chorus of different voices. And let's please not leave out the police-esque sound cues. An addictive song indeed. It starts and goes only stopping after 60 seconds. The action is very well handled, and there's even a sort of Zord roll call at the end. You have lots of footage of the rangers fighting against their enemies, sounding out to the lyrics of the song, making each clip mean something more than the last. Say goodbye again. May the power protect you all. Says who? Says me. You know the one who started this list? You ain't the boss of me. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Now this is what an opening should be like. The Zeo opening has it all. No, it isn't Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it isn't nostalgic. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers opening is classic. Everyone knows it. What Zeo does is that it takes that opening and amplifies everything about it. A proper remix or a reversion if there ever was one. And it was done right. Look at you, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, okay? You suck. I must agree. This intro is a remix in all the right ways, being that it amplifies the original while still having its own identity. Not to mention the singer's voices reach impossible levels and height that make the song so intriguing to listen to and the lyrics are incredible. The clips are synced amazingly, giving you short bursts of rapid sequences in the beginning and the end, exemplifying important clips slow and fast. The song is so grand and every single clip is worth watching. All of the rangers, their allies, zords, and enemies are each given a moment in the spotlight and the flashes of color and light are a treat for the eye. The stone carving is awesome. The music during it is awesome. The character cards are not too long, not too short. And there's that last run of footage before the logo appears, showing Rangers and Zords doing their thing. All to the best performed theme in Power Rangers. I'm the Purple Zebra. And I'm Condor K, saying... 